Looking at service, a service is a program, routine, or process that performs a specific system function to support other programs and or to provide a network service. It runs in the system background without user interface. You can access the services MMC simply by typing services.msc at the search programs and files dialog box. Services, services are those programs or processes that perform a specific system function to support other programs or to provide a network service. Of course, as a desktop technician, you will soon discover that if some of these services are not running or they are not running with the proper credentials, may cause problems with applications or other services from running properly. While there are too many services to go over, take a look at the server and workstation services on your system. Explore what it does. Of course, since Windows 7 acts as a server providing file sharing and as a workstation when it accesses other shared files. Looking at the registry, the bottom line here is that the registry is a central secure database in which Windows stores all hardware configuration information software configuration information and system security policies. Components that use the registry include the Windows kernel, device drivers, setup programs, hardware profiles, and user profiles. While the registry is not covered on the exam, to be a successful de desktop technician, users should be aware of the registry and how to access the registry. Most of the time, you will be following specific instructions when accessing the registry. If you edit the registry, you should only follow those instructions that come from a reliable source, such as Microsoft.com. Most of the time, when the access to the registry, the user will most likely access the H key local machine and the H key current user hives. The H key current user Hive will be saved back to the H key users Hive when the user logs off. If you need to create a key or value, you need to type it exactly as instructions indicate, including capitalization and spacing. Very specific information that needs to go in there. Using a troubleshooting methodology. As a computer technician, you will eventually have to deal with problems. Some problems will have obvious solutions and an easy fix. Many problems will need to be figured out by following a troubleshooting methodology to efficiently troubleshoot a problem. The other uh, common exam for Windows 7 is the 70-680 exam. While the 70-680 exam does some does cover some troubleshooting the 70-685 exam which this course focuses on tends to focus more on troubleshooting therefore it makes sense to make sure you use troubleshooting methodology when trying to solve a problem when using a troubleshooting methodology you may think that it adds extra steps to fix a problem however when you try to cut corners when trying to jump into the middle of the problem without understanding everything that is going on, it will cause more work in the long run. Of course, the troubleshooting methodology shown in Lesson 1 is the steps that Microsoft product support engineers use. It is not the only troubleshooting methodology available, but when you look at similar methodologies common to troubleshoot computer or networking problems, you will find that they are very similar. If you work for an organization, it's important as a technician or administrator that you complete the troubleshooting methodology. Therefore, after you check the results and the problem is fixed, you need to make sure that you document the solution. So how does an ex a season, excuse me, how does a seasoned technician differ from a novice technician? 
the answer is experience. The seasoned technician will know when to use the troubleshooting methodology. He or she will also not overlook simple or obvious things. In addition, the experienced technician will know when to get help and where to go to get help. Here's a list of troubleshooting tools available in Windows 7 with which you should become familiar. One tool that was added to earlier versions of Windows was the System Information Program. It was intended for technicians and administrators to see how a system was configured. Here's a screenshot of the system information. Notice it provides a system summary which includes information about your system such as the operating system name, the version, the system name, the system manufacturer, the model, the processor, the BIOS version, physical RAM, as well as a wealth of other important data. You can save this as a text file and send it to another technician or have someone else save this info and use it to get to know all the details about a system to help troubleshoot the system. While you may or may not get an error message when solving a problem, you may be able to find an error message in the event logs. The event viewer allows you to look at the Windows logs. You should look through the logs regularly and get familiar with what is meant by the messages. This will allow you to know what is normal and when an error message appears. You will be able to identify errors more quickly. Here we can see the event viewer. In this picture you can see the system windows log is accessed and an error with an event ID of 4321 related to NetBT has been opened to examine its properties. These properties will help us resolve the issue. In this chapter we've identified these skills. While installing Windows 7, keep in mind the system requirements to properly run Windows 7 and its applications. To minimize, minimize problems you should only choose hardware that is on the hardware compatibility list for Windows 7. And as with previous versions of Windows, the main graphical utility to configure Windows environments and hardware devices is the control panel. One of the most important configuration settings for a Windows administrator is the system settings within the control panel. This includes gathering generation information about your system, changing the computer name, adding the computer to a domain, accessing the device manager, configuring remote settings, configuring startup and recovery options, and configuring overall performance settings. The Action Center is a central place to view alerts and take actions that can help keep Windows running smoothly. Troubleshooting in the control panel contains several programs that can automatically fix some common problems with your computer, such as issues with networking, hardware and devices, using the web, and program compatibility. The Microsoft Management Console is one of the primary administrative tools used to manage Windows and many of the network services provided by Windows. Administrative Tools is a folder in the control panel that contains tools for system administrators and advanced users. The Computer Management Console is one of the primary tools to manage a computer running Windows 7 and includes the most commonly used MMC snap-ins. A service is a program, routine, or process that performs a specific system function to support other programs or to provide a network service. The registry is a central secure database in which Windows stores all hardware configuration information, software configuration, and system security policies. 
Following a troubleshooting methodology is efficient to efficiently troubleshoot a problem will help you solve many problems. One of the most useful troubleshooting tools is the Event Viewer MMC Snap-in, which is essentially a log viewer.